Mm -mm, I don't need it. And coupled with the fact that they rarely work with creators of color. Mm -hmm. And coupled by the fact that it's a $50 case. Mm -hmm. And coupled by the fact that it's, it's, I can get it from five below. I'm sorry, you guys. It's a no for me, dog. Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Simone Nicole here. Back at it again with yet another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about four brands that are very well known because of how sponsored they are and how present they are in content creators' content. And in this video, I want to emphasize that I am in no way saying that just because a creator is sponsored means that they are lying. I am sponsored, I'm very blessed to say, pretty regularly on here and over on Instagram and it's all about knowing the integrity of the YouTuber, but it does make you wonder sometimes, like why is it that these companies are consistently sponsoring influencers? And would we try the product or even like the product if it wasn't for YouTubers using them and or promoting them? I have done a video like this in the past. Um, I did it with Function of Beauty and you guys love that video. It is my top viewed video over on my channel. And because it is my top viewed video and the company actually saw it, I ended up having the opportunity need to work with them to come out with a co-wash in order to better serve the curly hair community so good things can come from working with very large companies and i guess that that kind of segues me into kind of explaining why a lot of these companies tend to work with so many people and it's because they have the budget to but here we are today to examine whether or not it's worth the money because every single thing that i have in this video I use my own money on for the most part. And when I did it, I'll explain why. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Savage X Fenty, Casetify, Teamy Blends, and HelloFresh. So if you would like to know my unsponsored, unpaid for opinion on these products, then please keep watching. So first up on the chopping block is going to be Teamy. And I know that you all know them because of their flat tummy teas and also for their skincare. I'm gonna be talking about the skincare side and more specifically their clarifying mask that you see a lot of YouTubers promoting. So the tea on this is that they actually sent this to me. This is the only product inside of this entire video that I did not pay for with my own money, but they ended up reaching out to me. They were one of the first recognizable brands to reach out to me and they essentially wanted to do a gifted collab. So what that means is that they will send you the product, but they won't pay you for your promotion. You're responsible for promoting the product without actually getting paid to promote the product and your payment is the product. I elaborate on that, on what it's like to be like a part-time entrepreneur. That video, I elaborate on why that has never sat right with me. But I ended up reaching out to the brand and just like letting them know like, hey, I just don't feel comfortable taking this sponsorship anymore. And looking at the ingredient list a little deeper, I was like, ugh. I don't think that this is gonna work for me, but what it really came down to is that I just didn't want to be that girl promoting the products with the having it next to your face and this clear my skin in three days. Like I've done the whole like taking pictures, holding it up to your face, but for me as a viewer, it just seems disingenuous. It's just not natural. Like it's clear that this is an ad and I never wanna make my audience feel like, hey, here's an ad. So I ended up backing out of the partnership, but that did not stop me from using the product so as you can see I've had this detox mask for a while I was never asked to talk about it I emailed the brand they said it was completely okay I even offered to send it back to them just so they didn't think I was trying to use them to get products but they're actually really nice about it as far as what I thought about the actual product I thought it was good I've been using it for a while and the footage that you're seeing right now it's not applying smoothly and I'm a hundred percent sure that it's because it's expired when I opened it it always looks a little dry but I probably could have worked a little harder to like moisten it back up with like a little bit of water or like some type of oil but they sent me this mask a very long time ago and i've just always kept it in the box i don't know why i keep products in the box because they just always feel new to me yeah i tried it i thought it was good i think that it's a solid product the mask retails for 29.99 i think for some it probably feels like not accessible but for others it does it's not too high of a price point where i feel like it's not worth it this mask is essentially a bentonite clay mask which is the indian healing clay mask with some other properties 
things inside of it so i would say that if you're on a budget and you can't afford something like this then just go to your local target whole foods and pick up some bentonite clay and it'll give you essentially the same effects but the experience using it is really nice it's very smooth my skin feels really clean after i use it so it does what it says it's gonna do but i don't think it's anything life-changing but do i think it's a scam no i do not yeah those are all my thoughts on teamy the full brand name is teamy blends i don't necessarily agree with the other side of the company which is like their detox teas i would have to do more research into them but i'm happy that they refer to them as detox teas and not like flat tummy teas because just the idea that you're selling these to young women essentially saying like hey you can get a flat tummy by drinking our tea i don't love that but i've never seen that language used with teamy so points for that points for the mask it was good i didn't pay for it will i rebuy it likely not i have other masks that i like and i like to try different things so it was good it wasn't a scam but would i rebuy it no okay so the next brand that we are going to be talking about today is case to five babes if you have a pulse and you are on social media then you know who case defy is they are a brand that specializes in cases for all smart devices so laptops phones apple watches like they have a case for everything and they essentially are trying to say like just because our cases are so safe it doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice safety for cuteness and you don't have to have these cases that are this big in reality i haven't seen a case that big since i was literally in high school and everyone used to have like 80 dollar otter boxes because it was the only thing that would protect your precious iphone but i just don't think the otter box is coming for your spot case to five but that's just me before this i was perfectly fine going to five below and getting my case i have a five below case on my work phone right now and a five below screen protector on my work phone and i've been buying them for years and i've never dropped a phone and it cracked with that type of case on there so i was not case defy's first customer in line but i was there 735,000 customer just for you guys i got on there and i tried it i have the case on my phone right now it is a customized case that says Nicole on it, but I do regret getting it in this dark of a font because uh, when I have my phone in there, you can't really tell what it says, which I don't love. I don't live, laugh, love for that. I should have gotten a lighter font because I just didn't take into account the color of my phone, which is my fault. But do I like it? Yeah. I don't think that it was life altering. It's a pretty cool case i like that it says my name on there i like that i had the ability to do whatever font or whatever else i wanted to it that's pretty dope i don't know if i'm thinking about the cost i paid according to my emailed receipt i paid for the customizable 11 pro max impact case in the color frost $50 was the original price and I ended up using a code. I'm pretty sure I used Smoky Glows code for this particular one and it brought my total down to $42.50 with no cost shipping. And also what I want to say about the brand that I do not care for is that I almost never see them working with creators of color. I know plenty of creators that have the same numbers as some of the white creators that I watch and I can't say that I've seen anybody with my own eyes be sponsored by Case Defy and I actually know of a creator that said in one of her videos I reached out to Case Defy to try to work with them and her engagement is crazy her videos do wonderful numbers she has crazy engagement on all of her platforms arguably the same if not more than some of the people that I've seen them sponsor and they are not checking for her at all. And I do have to say that I do notice that Casey does not work with a lot of creators of color. So I don't love that. I don't live, laugh, love for that. And I know that there's gonna be someone down in my comments like, my favorite YouTuber, blah, 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 sponsored by Casey Fye, and you're wrong. Okay, I'd love to be wrong. But the point still stands that you could name the singular or like two creators of color that they've worked with, but I'm sure that you can name like 15 or 20 or 30 other non-creators of color that you've seen them work with. So not a big fan of that. And as my final thought, would I rebuy from this company? I would not for a combination of reasons. One, I feel like it's pretty overpriced <laughs> for what you get, especially because I've been using Five Below cases 
and five below screen protectors on my phone for years. And this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is a $1,500 phone. And I was perfectly content going to five below and buying a $5 case and a $5 screen protector for my $1,500 phone because they've never failed me before. Mm -mm, I don't need it. And coupled with the fact that they rarely work with creators of color, mm, and coupled by the fact that it's a $50 case, mm. and coupled by the fact that it's, it's, I can get it from five below, I'm sorry you guys, it's a no for me dog. Okay, so the next brand that we have to talk about is by no one other than the queen herself, Miss Rihanna's Savage X Fenty. I know that you guys, if you haven't seen them on YouTube, and you have definitely seen it on Instagram, how many of the girlies are Savage X Fenty ambassadors, and I'm with it, I love it. Contrary to the other brands, I think that the representation and the amount that they sponsor different creators is very beautiful to me. And I love that they're normalizing having beautiful things to sleep in, to lounge in, to wear as underwear, as lingerie for any occasion that you want and to allow different types of bodies to be celebrated. I absolutely love that. How and ever, I have seen the criticism about the um, kind of scamminess that it feels like the brand has with their VIP program. That, I don't know if it was explained to me super well. I do remember though, understanding what I was signing up for when I got the VIP pricing. So what happens when you go to the website, you'll go there, you will see all the prices for all the different items and you'll see the regular price and then you'll see the VIP price. So essentially, in order to become a VIP, you don't have to put any money down. Basically, you will just get the cost that a VIP member would pay for whatever you want. And then you don't have to pay anything upfront besides the cost of whatever you bought, right? Then rolls around the next first of every month. And if you don't opt out of or skip that month, then you will be charged $50. It's not like a like a fee for just holding the membership, kind of like a gym. It is $50, but it's a $50 credit towards the website. And then you get those specialty pricings as well. A lot of people think that this is a really scammy business practice, but it's not my favorite, but it's also not original. Brands have been doing this. I understand it as a business practice because it forces your clientele to come back to you and to shop with you. But a lot of people think that it's scammy. I mean, sure. Sure, but after you get your first purchase, you can go in and just cancel your membership altogether. I skip mine every single month because, you know, like maybe one month I will want to spend the extra $50 and get some nice pieces for myself. But there was a time where I forgot to skip it in the grace period, which is the first to the fifth. And I contacted customer service and they told me that they will give me a courtesy skip when you're outside of that window, which I thought was really nice. So yeah, I don't really have a ton of bad things to say about the company itself, but I do understand people's concerns as far as the products that i got i cannot try them on free i mean i could because the girlies do it all the time but the girlies are also getting paid to do it so they don't have to worry about demonetization i have to worry about demonetization so i will show you guys i did have it on for a valentine's day tiktok slash reel that myself and my friends did earlier this year and i was wearing the set and then i do have some b-roll of one of the sets one of them is this like really 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 pretty purple but like it's like this soft beautiful pink purple lilac kind of color it has a no padding bra and then a lace thong to match beautiful super comfortable the quality is really good i do often see people saying that the quality doesn't match um i don't think that that's true i will have to look and see how much i paid for my sets in particular but they were very reasonable price and when i got them they felt like i spent an appropriate amount of money on the pieces that I got. So I didn't feel scammed at all. I didn't feel like I overpaid for anything for that one set. And then the other set, that was a mistake on my part because I had bought the set thinking it was gonna be a little more comfortable, specifically the bottoms and they weren't. Boy shorts just don't do it for me, so I ended up actually cutting them, which is embarrassing, but I did end up cutting them because I had this idea for an Instagram picture in my head, and I'll show you guys the pictures. They never made it to the gram because they were giving very much OnlyFans, so I ended up not posting them because they just didn't come out in my head how I wanted them to come out in person. But I do find myself wearing that set, not as often, but I still do wear it. And I was telling myself like, I'm sure I bought something else and I did. I bought a t-shirt bra, love, 
love, love that t-shirt bra. I can't even describe to you. I love it. It is the best thing that ever happened to me. It is my hands down favorite go-to black bra. It fits me super duper well. The padding is nice, but it's not like overly padded, but my girls look good in them. So yeah, I got a really good everyday bra, a cute little lingerie set, another like lounge underwear set that I ended up cutting and low key ruining, but I'm still gonna wear them. And I don't feel scammed. I felt like it was worth the money. I really like what the brand stands for, but I'm also biased because she's a Pisces, I'm a Pisces. And it took me forever to figure out that the branding for Savage X is literally the Pisces symbol. I'm disappointed in myself like god to say that i'm not biased will be a lie i'm definitely biased i love her but genuinely i really do like the brand so if you want to try some stuff out totally totally recommend it just know what you're getting yourself into as far as the membership but yeah i will purchase from them again okay so this next and final brand will be a brand that we all know oh too well which is hello Fresh, America's number one at home meal kit, which will forever be stuck in my head because apparently it's the tagline that they ask every single influencer to use during their ad reads. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I did try it. I used Khadijah Bose, code for that one. I love Khadijah. She is the best on the entire planet. Highly recommend her channel for all things social commentary and just a lot of think pieces and things that I just never knew before. She's making me a much better human being. Love you, Khadij. Oh, and I didn't mention for Savage X Fenty, I use Jackie Anna's link for that. I try my hardest to support creators of color whenever I am going through anybody's sponsorship links because I know how hard it can be as a creator of color out here. And I was really pleasantly surprised when I went on the website because they do have a bunch of different meal box options. I do not eat beef or pork, um, but I also don't eat any other things either. Like I saw on their website, that they have like duck and like other meats and I only eat chicken, fish, and turkey. I ended up getting the paleo boxes. So it came with some vegetarian meals and the meals that weren't vegetarian came with fish options. I ended up for sure cooking two meals because I got three meals in the one box. So you can choose how many meals you want to come in your box. And I ended up choosing three and they were supposed to get delivered. I think I chose on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. I'm not 100% sure, but I was very pleasantly surprised to see that for three meals, I only paid like 23 bucks or something like that, which is so cheap, especially because a lot of these meals can feed two people. That was around like seven bucks per meal. And if you're feeding two people, it's like $3.50 per person. And I'm sure that that's like a special kind of a cost because I used a creator's code. But I mean, even if you did with that, what I did and you just were in a pinch and didn't really have a big budget for that week for your groceries and you just wanted to get one week's worth of HelloFresh, you could do that for $23. And another thing that I really like about HelloFresh is that it is true what they say, like, you waste a lot less because they send you exact portions. And it also teaches you to cook in a way that's not really native to you. And it can really teach someone that doesn't really understand cooking a good basis on how to cook because you also get to keep all your little recipe cards that they send you after they're done. So you can create those meals over and over again if you'd like. So I think that that's really cool. Two cons, a big thing that they emphasize is the non-wasteful parts like they just don't want to make sure they're not creating as much waste but i thought that i canceled my subscription and i didn't and i caught it a little too late and i called customer service and i was like hey i really don't want this next box and they were like um too bad so sad i didn't get to go through and like customize my meals because you can customize your meals up until a certain date i didn't get to do that so they were sending me meals that i just knew i was never gonna eat and i told them like hey like can you just keep it? Like, I mean, I'll literally, I hate it, but like, I'll pay for it. I just don't wanna waste the food. I don't know anybody that like really eats like this. And the customer service guy was like, okay. Like, no, the box is gonna be sent to you. It will be there in this many days, deal with it. Which was kind of contradictory to me, their whole message of like, oh, we don't want waste and blah, blah, blah. I understand that it was my fault for missing the date. Totally get that. Totally my fault, sure, cool. But if I'm saying like, no, like 
just cancel it like keep it and send it to someone else like even if i pay for it hell take it yourself mr customer service guy take it home to your family because i'm not going to eat it and it's going to go to waste and he's like so didn't love that but i do know it was my fault so i can't really super hold it against them but that is something to note and then the other thing that i didn't find necessarily to be true was how a lot of their meals, they're designed to like take the guesswork out of cooking and a lot of their meals are be able to be made in 30 minutes or under. That was true for the shrimp spaghetti with a kick. That was true for that meal that I got. I'll insert a screenshot of um, the recipe or like the recipe card. That was true for that. It was really good, really simple. It was giving very much restaurant vibes. But then for the other meal, I had a bunch of B-roll of me cooking this, but I got this box back on March 5th because I was supposed to film this video like ages ago, <laughs> but I never got around to it and I accidentally ended up deleting that B-roll footage. And I cannot find that recipe anywhere. One, the whole idea of it being a short meal option, nope. It took me like an hour to cook it. It was like this Thai couscous with a sriracha, sour cream, something, something. Really different, really outside of my comfort zone. It was a vegetarian, no, I think it was like turkey sausage that it came with. It took me like an hour to make it. There were so many different flavors, so many different things to chop. So It was just so much. And then I, once it was all done, once I had so many dishes, so many different elements to this meal, it was not good to me. I couldn't even finish my plate my i cooked it over my sister's house my niece cooked it with me she thoroughly enjoyed it my nephew also tagged along in cooking it he thought it was okay my sister had it she thought it was okay i hated it but that could just be my very very americanized taste buds that doesn't like anything that's not like either traditional or americanized asian food and american food i don't even think this was thai but yeah they didn't deliver they didn't give what they said it was going to give at all it was a long process it wasn't very good i was chopping for a thousand years it was not quick and ready on the table like they said it would be so i didn't find that to be true but those are all my qualms with it while i would agree that hellofresh is mad mad over sponsored i do think that it is worth a try if you are able to get your hands on it and don't be surprised if one day out of all these brands hey you see me with the hellofresh sponsorship i might be flirting a little bit with hellofresh hey and that brings us to the end of today's video what a wild ride what a wild ride guys we looked at four different brands and all of my thoughts and opinions on all of them thank you so much for sticking around to hear me talk about these brands that i'm sure all of us have heard so much about again i will reiterate that just because an influencer is sponsored by one of these brands does not mean that they're lying at all today i just wanted to examine whether or not I feel like they're worth it for the average Joe, the average consumer, and offer my thoughts on whether I would rebuy because returning to a brand means a lot. Everyone can buy something once, but will you go back to it? I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I thank you guys so much for always coming here and spending some time with me and for trusting me and my little opinion on things. Make sure you check out any and all creators that I mentioned in this video because I love them. All right, see you next time. Remember to keep positivity in your life because positivity breeds positivity and we have absolutely no time for negativity in 2021. I'll see you guys super duper soon in my next video.